in today's video i'm gonna show you how to use obs profiles and obs scene collections this is very important if you use obs especially to manage multiple projects one example may be streaming to multiple platforms one day you may be streaming on youtube another day you may be streaming on facebook or twitch maybe you're streaming a game show and another day you're just doing a talking head just kind of video doing tutorials and stuff like that you want to make sure you have different profiles for that so when you're doing just your game show you can just use that profile but also your scene collections are going to come in play because you may have scenes where you're probably capturing one screen and another scene where maybe you have guests on for a particular show or you have another show where you don't have guests on and you don't want to be messing up having your guest scenes into that show setup so that's why having like different scene collections and different profiles can actually help another cool use case scenario if you're doing some client work maybe you doing some remote production for other clients and you have a show where it's 100 branded for a specific client and they're streaming on a specific platform with specific settings maybe streaming 4k instead of 1080p or they're streaming 720p instead of full hd that specific show can have its own profile and its own scene collection so i'm gonna show you how everything works here in obs and let's not take much time let's get into it what is going on guys my name is sam you're watching that production tips and tools and of course today I'm going to show you two of the most powerful features in OBS, which are profiles and scene collections. So let's go ahead and actually start with profiles. So usually to access profile right now, of course, I have my OBS open. If I go to profile here, you can see that I have multiple profiles that I have created for my OBS. So basically, you can see I have Amazon Live template. I have blank OBS when I want to show demo of just obvious with nothing i have facebook group i have ig streaming when i'm streaming to instagram i have obs tutorials when i'm creating tutorials for obs overlay demo live when i'm demoing some overlays so as you can see i have multiple profiles now each profile right now i'm using the overlay demo profile but if i was to switch to something like facebook group this is like my settings you're gonna see that everything is gonna be different but you're not gonna be able to see it here and i'm gonna show you actually where the difference is so basically profile is going to save all the settings part of your stream so if i go here i go to settings here i just switch to a different profile you can see if i go to output you can see all my streaming settings my encoder settings are all actually saved in here okay and i go to video everything as you can see it's in full hd 1080p and everything here go to stream as you can see stream is service custom and server is live blah 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 but it's on facebook and have the stream key already entered in there this stream key was from my facebook group when i was streaming on facebook group if i hit ok and i go to profile again and then I change back to something like YouTube stream. This is a different profile that I have created in the past. I can go to settings now. And if I go to stream, you can see that I have this particular profile connected to my YouTube channel. You can see my YouTube channel is already connected there. And all my output, my recording, everything is saved here for my recording settings, my streaming settings. You can see I'm streaming at 10,000 kbps. So like all the output settings, stream settings, video settings, everything is saved here for that specific profile and it's made specifically for YouTube streaming. So this is technically most of it really when it comes to profile is going to be about all your settings, all the platforms, all your encoder settings, recording settings, streaming settings, the platforms where you're gonna be streaming at, everything's gonna be saved under profile. Now, when it comes to scene collection, this is where the magic happens because even though I've been changing and switching profiles, my scenes remain the same. As you can see, I have the same scenes. But now, let's say I'm gonna go back to overlay demo. 
and then I'm gonna go to scene collection and I'm gonna go under here, go to YouTube. That's an example, a different thing collection. I'm gonna click YouTube and as you can see, everything changes. All my scenes, all my sources are going to change now. I have a new welcome scene. I have my camera, of course, it's not showing because it's being used to record this video. But you can see that scenes are completely different, completely like new overlays, like some crazy weird looking scenes that I created back in the day. But you can see that everything is different. Now, if I go to scene collection again and I go to overlay or one scene, you're going to see that I'm going to get another something. I'm going to have some files missing. So probably I'm not going to show you this one. But you can see that it's a completely something new. All the scenes are completely different. I got a camera coming in. But let me go to scene collection again. And then I'm going to go to overlay demo live. This is something that I created recently. You can see that these are completely different scenes and sources. It's a completely new set of scenes and sources. If I go to scene collection again and I show you something else, let's say blank. Let's go to blank. You can see this was a blank thing that I was actually playing when I'm playing with OBS. You can see that it has different scenes and sources that this one has a camera in, but you can see that some of the scenes are not even working because I was using maybe some cameras I don't have right now connected. You can see that this is a completely different scene collection and all the sources are completely different. Right now, I can go back to overlay demo, which is the scene that we had when I started. And I can go to my countdown timer, which was this one or to the single, whatever. Now you have an idea and you understand how scene collections and profiles actually work. So if you have a client maybe you're starting a new project what you can do every time you start a new project they say in our case i'm gonna go ahead and uh, by the way you can duplicate some of the profiles so you can duplicate a profile and rename it you can also click to a profile like this profile right now i can go and click rename if i click rename i can rename whatever i want i don't need to rename it I can also export. So if I want to export, I can export that or I can import a profile. So somebody can create a profile or I can create it myself. Let's say if I want to like right now I have a laptop, I'm going to be streaming something for a client on a different computer. So I can export something like a profile and export a scene collection as well. When I go get to that computer, I can now import that scene collection and import the profile. It's going to import all the settings and import all the scenes that I have. And of course, you have to link back to all the assets. So if you're using like some cameras, if you're using some media like videos or overlays and stuff like that, they have to be available on the other computer as well for everything to kind of sync up. But it's actually very, very easy. So by now, let's say if I was to start a new profile, I can just say new and I can call it just new profile. Let's say you call it demo profile. Usually OBS is going to ask you to optimize either for streaming or recording, but I can simply hit cancel and then I can go to scene collection. I can also hit new and I can call it demo collection if you were starting a new project. So as you can see, everything now is fresh new. There's nothing there. So now what you can do, you can actually start adding. You can go to settings. If I go to settings, you're going to see everything is there's nothing there. Services, Twitch. So I can go, let's say I want to do a Facebook live, maybe profile server. I can keep it Facebook live and I can go grab the stream key from Facebook. I can go to output, make advanced, and then I can set up all the video encoder to NVIDIA NVEC H264 because I have a built-in graphics card, a dedicated graphics card, sorry. I can set up my encoder settings like bitrate. Facebook is 6,000, the maximum. Keyframe intervals, I can make it two seconds. And then I can do my audio here, make sure everything's good, video, everything. Right now is 720p, I can make it 1080p, keep it 30 frames per second and hit apply. And then boom, now everything's gonna be saved under that profile, which is demo profile. My scene collection, I can actually go ahead and start creating all the scenes and everything. I and mean, I'm not gonna go through that, but if I wanted to, I can, you know, rename the first scene, let's say intro 
and then I can add maybe something like a countdown timer, just an example, media source. And then I can add some other scenes, right? Again, we're not going to do everything, the whole thing, but this is just an example. And as you can see, everything looks good now. I got my scenes, I got my profile. So if I go to profile, you can see which one is active. I go to my scene collections, you can see which one is active. By the way, if I wanted to, I can export. So let's go ahead and actually export our profile and our scene collection. And I'm going to show you how you can actually import those back again, just to show you how it works. So if I want to export, I can hit export and then I'm just going to save it here. Just choose a folder. So my profile is, is exported right now and I can go to scene collection. Make sure it's checked. The one that I want to export and click export and then make sure I saved. I'm going to save it under downloads and make sure it's saved. So now I can change to a different profile. So let me go ahead and maybe change to this profile here and then go to scene collection, change to a different profile, maybe different scene collection. Now, whenever now they say I want to import those ones back in here, what you would do, you would go to profile and then you will go to import and then you go where you saved it. So as you can see, we have demo profile here. So basically you just click to this folder and then click select and it's going to be imported. And again, because we already have it, it's probably going to show twice, but you can see it's going to show up here, demo profile. Same thing for scene collection. You will go here and then you go to import. And then again, you can see that I have so many scenes available from Streamlabs and don't need those. You can go to these three dots and then I can go to my downloads folder. I can go to demo collection and then hit open, add and then hit close. So now if I go to scene collection, you can see that it's already there, which is demo collection, this one right here. So I can switch to it. And as you can see, it's only one scene. My profile, same thing. I can click to it. Usually when you switch profiles, sometimes OBS may ask you to restart. So you want to make sure you hit yes, and it's going to restart just to make sure everything, because those things have to do with the settings. So if I go to my settings, you can see that we were streaming to Facebook Live. You can see that everything we did is already there. And my output, you can see that in quarter settings, bit rate, we set it up at 6,000 kbps. As you can see, it's already set everything. It's already done. So these guys could be useful. They say if you want to stream to Facebook. In fact, I have created a pack where I create a profile and the scene collection for streaming to Facebook Live using OBS. I have put all the overlays built into the scene collection, all the scenes that you need in there. This one right here. So it should be this one right here. As you can see, we have a countdown timer. We have the main camera, which is going to show up here with an overlay. We have overhead camera that you're going to set up. We have a screen share kind of desktop where you can have your picture show up here and then sharing a screen here. You have a guest scene where you're going to have your camera. Basically, you insert your camera here under host so you can go under host and then you go to properties right now i have obs virtual camera but you can choose any camera that you have so i believe my streamlabs camera is working so you can go ahead and choose your cameras as you can see you can show up here and then you have a guest you can have your guest camera as well here and then you can have two guests with the host you can have a video playback if you want to play back a video Basically, you can go here and replace the video source, add your own video, just go to properties and bring in your video. And then if you need, you have a playlist, you can actually go ahead and actually add a playlist as well. You have be right back scene, you have stream ending soon. So basically you have your entire show. It's already kind of made for you. And if you go to settings, you can also see that's going to be the profile, the actual profile, which would be this profile right here, overlay 01. If I go to settings, you can see that for streaming to Facebook Live, it's already preset. You just have to bring in your key. 
and then I go to output. If you have a dedicated graphics card, you can actually choose NVIDIA NVEC H264 as your encoder. If you don't, you can keep it the way it is here. And your bit rate is already set at the maximum that you can get for Facebook, which is 6K BPS. Your keyframe interval is already set, like all the settings for streaming to Facebook already set for you. You can go to uh, to video as you can see it's already set at 30 frames per second 1080p both 1080p canvas resolution and output resolution to 1080p so everything is already set for you your overlays everything including your settings you can import this profile into obs and actually set up your show in like five to ten minutes you'll be done you won't have to worry about any crashes or any problems with setting up your overlays now everything including the overlays the profile and the scene collection is actually available if you want to check it out and you can find it here at streamtools.com if you go under obs so basically you scroll down you go to obs template so it's like a full obs template and then you can go here to under it's gonna be this one right here called scenes overlays and settings so basically it's an obvious bundle for facebook live already pre-made for you you can go ahead and actually check it out if you don't want to waste your time if you don't have time to set up everything everything's gonna be set for you guys and use it for streaming to facebook live now you can use the same to set up a youtube or twitch live stream as well it's all the same concept maybe use the same scene collections and change the settings or the profile yourself everything's possible guys but i hope this video was helpful let me know if you have questions about profiles and scene collections here in obs but if you want to see how i set up everything actually from scratch including overlays like set up full obs show actually you want to make sure you check out this video here because i'm going to show you everything that you need to set up a full obs show from start to finish so check it out and i'll see you there guys take care